Well, check this out. This elevator is on floor two in fireman service. This is the East Eco Space at the uh, Water Street parking garage. I'm gonna take the stairs up one floor and see what's wrong with it. I wonder if Kone's here fixing it. First floor call station's gone completely. Wow. Yep. Oh, Otis. Otis maintains these. Indicator's completely off. None of the buttons work. How about that? They just left it on phase two fireman service hold. So this indicator is displaying fireman service and no number. Interesting how that works. They could have just put the stop switch on, which would have made it say out of service, but no. They had to put it in phase two fireman service. Questionable to say the least. But anyway, hopefully at least the issues with that elevator get fixed. We're gonna ride the West car now. All right, here's the West Eco Space. We're gonna start by going down. It's the only one that's in service right now. I'm actually gonna take this up to six and then um, see if the MRL cabinet's open. I wanna see if Otis is here. But yeah, that explains why these eco spaces aren't in such great shape. Kone does not maintain them. Because honestly, and this is my opinion, the elevators run best if they're serviced by the company who installed them. So if it's Kone, go with Kone. If it's Otis, go with Otis. But yeah, this one's pretty much exactly the same. Second floor button, it works, but it doesn't light up. See, we're stopping at two. How about that? We have one elevator out of service. I've never, ever seen that. Send this back down, we'll go over to the east side from this side. I don't really feel like walking the stairs up six floors, so it's better to just take this elevator and walk over. And the other elevator also had a picked lock on the MRL cabinet, so I'm wondering if that's why that elevator's out of service, because um, either somebody, uh, Somebody had a key and it was messed up and allowed you to remove it even if it wasn't aligned properly or was picked. You know, I've seen both cases happen. But anyway, it's a nice view of uh, downtown Naperville from here. It's the bell tower. All right, let's see if anyone's up here working near the MRL cabinet for the East Eco Space. That's funny. One of them is out of service, but it's not displaying out of service, it's displaying fireman service. Very, very interesting. And there's some people up here. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on here. Uh, nope, nobody's up here. But again, this indicator 
is not displaying any four saying fireman service. Button is not responding. At least the uh, lock has been realigned, so at least that's secure now. So at least they took that concern seriously. You don't want people having unauthorized access to that or the machine room if there's if there's a machine room. I know some states don't require, I mean, I know some states require a dedicated control room for MRL elevators, but, you know, some, some buildings still call it a machine room even though it's not because the machine's in the shaft, the controls are in the room, but in this state, MRL cabinets are allowed, so they're truly machine room and control room less elevators. But yeah, as I was saying, you don't want uh, you don't want to leave your machine room or control panel unlocked because then the wrong people might get access to that and shut the elevator down. Well, here we are back at the elevator that works. That's unfortunate. We'll take three more rides on this. Surveillance camera. We'll go ahead and end on two, because I meant to report last month that this button, although it works, doesn't light up. I guess those were city employees out there repainting the rails of the parking garage. I'll let this park at one after I get off. There it goes, and that's it.